in everything we do and everything we say, God must get the glory. We were made for his glory tonight. My voice is not as excellent, just coming out of convocation. But we pray that the Lord will just lift us up to another level. Hallelujah, where there will be signs and miracles and wonders. You pray me up tonight in Jesus' name. Lift your hands and worship him. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. Yes, we worship you. From the inside of me, come fill my life. From the inside, from the inside of me, may you delight. From the inside. From the inside of me, set me on fire. From the inside, from the inside of me, for all I want is for you, for you. Rise from the inside 
Somebody who wants to be where God is, lift your hands and praise Him if you want to be where God is tonight. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and praise Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift your hands and praise Him tonight. Somebody, clap your hands and praise Him. Somebody, put those hands together. And give the Lord a mighty praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, you can praise him tonight. You can praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we pray tonight? Father, we are so grateful for this privilege that we could come together tonight. We pray, God, that as we are gathered in this fashion, in the sanctuary, on Zoom, on the different social media platforms, I pray tonight that there will be a move of God. I pray tonight that flesh be slain and your name be glorified. God, send a word for somebody. Uplift the spirits of your people tonight let somebody receive deliverance and breakthrough God we speak a word we we speak under the anointing we we plead the blood of Jesus tonight have your way in this conference we give her the honor the glory and the praise and can somebody say in Jesus name I want us all to put our hands together and give God glory. Amen. As I see you on the screens, come on, put your hands together and give God praise. Give him glory tonight. Amen. We are so honored tonight. My wife and myself, we are so honored to be in this fourth year. Amen. This is night number three. And we are under the theme, Divine Alignment. And so we are excited to be with, amen, Elder Pusey tonight. Let's put our hands together for him and give God the praise. And amen, we thank God for what he has been doing and the souls that he has been reaching. And the lives that have been transformed through this ministry. Come on, celebrate him tonight. And the God that is in him. We also honor God for Bishop Corey tonight and his wife. We give God thanks for them. We understand that they are celebrating 50 years. And to God be the glory. Great things he has done. We are certainly blessed coming to you from the True Holiness Apostolic Temple Church. Right here in Toronto, Canada. God is good. And we want to greet all, everyone tonight, all the pastors, the bishops, the whatever office you hold tonight, we greet you in the powerful and exalted name of Jesus Christ. We love you tonight and we are just here to share a word from the Lord. Amen. I promise you that we will be no longer than the Holy Ghost. Amen. We will be no longer than the Holy Ghost tonight. And so we want to go to the book of St. Luke. St. Luke chapter number 5. Amen. That's where we want to, amen, come to you from tonight. St. Luke chapter number 5. I thank God for the musicians tonight. God bless them. In the name of the Lord, I Thank God for my wife tonight who sang earlier. May the power of God rest upon her continually in the name of the Lord. Thank God for multimedia. Amen, Brother Ray, tonight in the house. St. Luke chapter number 5. And in the interest of time, we just want to read verse uh, 1 to number 6. Amen. We are dealing with divine alignment the bible says and it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of the lord god he stood by the lake of genezareth and saw two ships standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's. The Bible says, and prayed him 
that he would trust out a little from the deep. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out in the deep and let down your nets for a draw. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. I want you to uh, catch the text tonight. We are talking about divine realignment. Here is Simon saying, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. But here comes the shift. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. It is in verse number four that we want to Amen. Tabernacle tonight. Jesus says, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a draught. In keeping in alignment with your team tonight, I want to use for a subtopic tonight, trust the voice of God. Trust the voice of God. Somebody type that in the chat room, in the Zoom room, and in, in, in Facebook Live, on YouTube. Trust the voice of God. Somebody raise your hands and say, God, help me to trust your voice. Trust the voice of God. The Bible declares to us in the book of Romans as Paul would write to the brethren at Rome in Romans 7 and 25 Paul declares that it is with the mind that we serve God. It's all stuff with the mind and so in serving God saints of the most high God you and I cannot afford to have a one track mind mm -hmm. a one track mind in other words you and I cannot tie God to a box and say, God, this is how you should work, you should move, or this is how I'm expecting God to manifest. No, you and I cannot tie God to a box. When we examine the scriptures, beloved brethren, we understand that God reveals himself in so many different ways. We see in the book of Exodus chapter 17. He became Jehovah Nissi. The God their banner. In the same Exodus he was a pillar of fire by night. And a pillar of cloud by day. He appeared unto Moses in a burning bush. He appeared unto Abraham as 
Jehovah Jireh. What am I saying to us tonight is that you and I have to position ourselves and say, God, however you lead, I will follow. Whatever you choose to do, whenever you choose to do it, it, it's okay with me. Because uh, his ways are not my ways, neither his ways are your ways. His thoughts are higher than my thoughts and your thoughts. So what I'm saying to us tonight, that we must uh, experience expect God to move in the way in which God chooses somebody raise your hands and say move God move tonight move on this line tonight if you and I are expecting God to show up or manifest himself in one way only hallelujah to God then we will miss what God is doing now we will miss a move of God because God is God all by himself and he does what he please whenever he please and how he pleases and so you and I tonight have to be open Hmm. somebody say open somebody say open to the leading of the Holy Ghost not only that we have to be open to the leading of the Holy Ghost but you and I must be willing to sacrifice what we think we know for what God is saying right now I feel I gotta say that again because there are many of us who think we know but we got to understand that we have to sacrifice oh God oh, some of the things that we think we really know for what God is saying if we want to see a manifestation of the Holy Ghost uh, we have to say Jesus you speak uh, Jesus you lead uh, somebody wave your hands and give him praise uh, you see oftentimes uh, we become frustrated we become discouraged uh, oh God everything uh, seems to be so chaotic around us and among us that's why the voice of God becomes very important we sing a song that Jesus voice makes the difference when he speaks he relieves my troubled mind it's the only voice I hear that makes a difference and I will follow one day at a time and so the Holy Ghost has orchestrated this meeting this week to bring us into divine alignment hallelujah to God what the Holy Ghost is saying about divine alignment is that God says I want to do some real arrangement in my life and in your life what God has brought us here this week is that he want to eliminate the chaos and to reposition our lives so that we can fulfill our destiny that's what divine realignment is doing this week God is rearranging some things is eliminating some chaos and he's restructuring some stuff so that you and I can 
can fulfill our destiny. Somebody lift your hands and say, yes, Lord, I thank you. The divine hand of God is making some restoration, is restructuring some things. And what will happen as we speak the word of God is that we will realize that before long, some things that you have been battling with, God says, I'm realigning and I'm taking you out of the chaos and I'm putting you on a trajectory of miracles, signs and wonders. You're about to experience a new season in your life. Hallelujah to God. God is about to usher in some new people in your life. Somebody raise your hands and say, yes, Lord. I came by here with a word from the Lord to speak to over your life tonight. God said to tell you, trust his voice. Not my voice, but his voice. Hallelujah to God. Your blessing is on the other side of your frustration. You might feel desperate right now and feel like time is running out. But God says, I'm setting you up for something supernatural. Just trust the voice of God. Is there anybody out there that needs to hear this word tonight? Because sometimes when the voice of God speaks to you, it makes no sense. Because God will tell you to do some things. Or God will send a word to you. And when you look at what you are in and what you're going through, it doesn't make sense. But that's God for you. You have got to trace him when you can't find him. you got to trust him. Even when it seems like everything is falling apart. Is there anybody on this line tonight that will say, yes, Lord, I will trust you. Oh, yes. Somebody wave your hands and say, God, I will trust you. And so, beloved brethren, when we examine the text tonight, I want us to understand a few things. We will shout in a little while, but I want us to realize that when you read this text, we realize that we have to surrender to the sovereign will of God, to the omniscience of God, to the all-knowingness of God. Why do you say that, preacher? Peter was an experienced fisherman. Hallelujah. He had experience. He knew what time of the day or what time of the night to go fishing. He understood what spot he expects to. Hallelujah. Make the most draw. Hallelujah to God. But watch this. As experience. As he was. There came a time. When he went fishing. And he caught nothing. Have you ever been there in your life? Where no matter how you pray. And you fast. It seems like nothing is happening. 
fire shadow or you feel like no breakthrough is coming yes I've been serving God for years I've been walking with him for years but there comes a season where everybody has to go through a dry season a wilderness season a season where you feel like your backs are against the wall and everything is breaking loose in your life but I stop by here to tell you that in order to receive the divine manifestation the divine revelation of Jesus Christ you and I have to let go hallelujah of some stuff watch it I feel like I'm the preacher and stay here a little bit sometimes we try to figure out God and we behave like we know how God is going to work well listen here we can use our logics or our mindsets to figure out God hallelujah to God we have to submit my will your will to the will of God and say yes Lord oh heaven you lead me I will follow you're talking about divine realignment in order to be realigned tonight we have to hear the voice of God and when we hear his voice then we follow in his footsteps when we hear his voice we make the necessary adjustments to fall in alignment to his word watch this saints sometimes what God tells us it doesn't make sense have you ever been there where the Holy Ghost talked to you and it doesn't make sense you're more confused than anything well ask Joshua did it make sense to walk around Jericho six days and don't make no sound and on the seventh day they went into a praise it didn't make no sense but when you obey the voice of God you will get victory and deliverance in your life somebody hug yourself and say tonight I'm declaring that I am trusting the voice of God Lord have mercy hear me tonight take me down Mr. Music a little bit understand when God tells you a thing and it don't make no sense this is where trust comes in because when you're in a relationship there has to be trust can I ask you a question do you really trust God tonight with your life to realign it do you really trust God to realign your family tonight do you really trust God to make a shift in your life and even if it causes pain I will say yes to your will and yes to your way do you trust God tonight do you believe God God, when he spoke to you, are you hanging on to the word of God? Oh God, I feel you. Don't let the devil rob you of what God told you. Don't let the devil rob you of what God promised you. Don't let the devil distract you from what God has declared over your life. Rebuke that devil, rebuke that demon, rebuke that force, rebuke that power, 
hands and say in the name of Jesus I trust in God and know he cares for me on mountain peaks or across the stormy sea can I tell you something before we shout trust proceeds obedience can I talk to you trust proceeds obedience anybody remember the song trust and obey there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey I come back to tell you the Holy Ghost sent me here say in the midst of your frustration in the midst of discouragement in the midst of brokenness in the midst of chaos God said trust his voice God said trust his word God says stand up on his word God said lean on his word God said speak his word God said believe his word I feel I'm talking to somebody the doctor might have told you you got few months to live but declare the word of the Lord that Jesus said he's the bomb in Gilead with God all things are possible can I preach to this conference I feel happy up here I feel the Holy Ghost somebody on this line need to get up and trust God get the detractors out of your ears get the detractors off the phone line Makashata Mandosha and say God I believe you if you can't do it nobody else can watch it Abraham had to trust God at his old age my God Almighty God's voice had already spoken and say Abraham you shall have a child with Sarah Abraham had to trust God even when he had passed the age of childbearing who am I talking to can you trust him enough to wait on him now watch and I gotta go there tonight I can only be myself somebody might get up and say well preacher based upon my profession based upon my experience this don't make no sense hallelujah I don't have a problem with your profession and your experience but when it comes on to God hallelujah to God God will show up when you least expect him and so you and I have to trust God like a fool tonight trust him when the money is acting funny trust him when everything around you is dark trust him Moses had to trust him God told him stretch out your rod at the Red Sea when he heard the voice of God he had to trust the voice of God and stretch out his rod because when his voice spoke that's when divinity enters the situation whenever time God release a word divinity 
takes over and begin to orchestrate what divinity says I prophesy over somebody on this line that God is shifting you tonight he's shifting some positions he's shifting some situations I prophesy over your life somebody get up in your house and say it's broken somebody lay your hand on yourself and say shift I feel like preaching there is a divine shift on this line cancer is drying up right now tumor is leaving your body you're feeling a fire in your belly there's a shift on this line somebody better praise him God send me here Elder Pusey he said tell the conference listen to my voice listen to the voice of God listen to God's voice listen to the word of God trust God's voice can I preach a few more seconds David had to trust him when he went to Ziglag and Ziglag was burned down and he prayed to God God told him pursue David he had to trust the voice of God who am I talking to when God sent Elijah by the book of Cherith he had to trust the voice of God when the book of Cherith was dried up he says go to Zarephath he had to trust the voice of God God told me to tell this conference it's about time now you and I start believing his word he said my word shall not return unto me for it but it shall accomplish in that which is set out to do somebody lay hands on yourself and say divine realignment say God I trust you to realign my life tonight shuffle it shift it turn it change it move it Jesus put me in position tonight can I preach a few more minutes I won't keep you much longer and so when we look in the text of it my God this text is so powerful the Bible says that Jesus came on the scene and he told them I want you to launch out in the deep Lord have mercy Simon says my God we have been toiling all night in other words this really don't make no sense we have been here all night and we caught nothing nothing happened what makes you think that anything is going to change can I preach to the saints well when it's your efforts Lord have mercy sometimes we try to do things by our strength by our efforts by our ingenuity by our egotistical self sometimes we feel like we know it all but God says listen Simon I've got to teach you a lesson I know that your experience I know you're a professional but hear me I am the one who made these fishes I am the one who will lead them to the next and if I want to lead them away I lead them away 
and so I've orchestrated a situation for you to understand and come into divine alignment come into divine agreement God will let you go through a season let me calm this down right there God will let you go through a season where no matter what you do everything goes wrong he will let you go through a period in your life where no matter how much you read the word and fast and pray God says not until I'm ready he is deliberate and intentional in what he does because when he wants to shift us he has to bring us to a place where flesh can't help us where nobody around us can help us and then we have to look to God God says trust my voice Shandai Hatashe Kotusi and I am a mama secushaya. He took shot of a pussy and I took shama. Trust the voice of God. Don't listen to the naysayers who said you can't do it. If God told you, no weapon. Gotta feel radical right there. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. I feel some devils backing up tonight. I said, listen to the voice of God. If God said you heal, you are healed. If God said you are delivered, you are delivered. If God said you're blessed, no bad mind can stop your blessing no jealousy can stop your blessing no witchcraft can stop your blessing I said listen to the voice I shuttle I feel the Holy Ghost who am I talking to you better back up tonight you better back off tonight God's voice is passing through God's word is passing through the anointing is on this line tonight the glory is on this line tonight the fire by a shadow is on this line the power is on this line the glory is on this line God is speaking to somebody right now he said listen trust my voice in this trust my voice trust it you cannot go wrong give me a few minutes I'm almost there now watch it after Peter you see let me say this God will wait on us until we true complaining God will wait on us until we true murmuring. You know we got to get it off our chest. Oh God, I can't stand this. I don't. God said, "Okay, I'll have your say." But at the end of the day, if you don't trust the voice of God, you can't get the victory. So might as well you make life easier for you. Stop complaining stop arguing stop murmuring God told you get up and do it God told you put it in operation God told you speak it out of your mouth God told you do it if God told you do it because when you do it you are in alignment with God can I talk to somebody? I've got to go. 
hear me tonight so Peter Simon after he finished talking you see he was just talking master we have toiled all night and have caught nothing but watch it now then he says never the less after I've finished talking and all what I have to say nevertheless and you've got to watch now the words that come after he says at thy word we soon go back up I want you to catch it after he finished complaining and telling God about his profession and his experience and what he knows and how he do. he says okay now nevertheless at thy word that's where the shift is that's where the divine realignment now comes in at thy word in other words <laughs> I'm about to throw myself, hallelujah, at the mercies of God's word. Oh yes, I'm about to trust the word of God. I'm about to take God at his word. I stop by here on this third night of this great conference. God wants me to tell you tonight uh, that uh, you have got to uh, have faith uh, and confidence uh, in his words. Uh, no matter how long it takes, uh, it will come to pass. Uh, God say hold his words. Uh, God say believe his words. Uh, God said trust his word. Uh, he said depend upon his word. Uh, he said walk in his word. Uh, declare his word. Uh, speak his word. Uh, this is where uh, the shift comes. Uh, when Peter uh, listened to the voice of God. Uh, when Peter uh, trust the voice of God. Uh, the hand of God uh, begin to direct the fishes uh, into that location. Uh, there was a divine uh, realignment uh, that was about to take place. Uh, there was about to shift uh, in the atmosphere. Uh, as I come tonight, uh, I release a word uh, that anybody uh, that trusts God's voice, uh, you got greatness. Uh, in store you got big things in store when you listen when you trust the voice of god god said i'll direct you in the right path the things that seemed impossible becomes possible because you are trusting the voice of god the things that seems like it cannot be accomplished when you listen and trust God's voice my God you're amazed at how you get through this whatever that seems out of reach suddenly becomes in reach the Lord sent me to speak to his people he said trust me trust his voice when Peter said nevertheless at thy word he let down his neck and you know the story the nets broke because he listened he trusts the voice of God whatever God says God will do whatever God release must come to pass somebody help me preach now raise your hands and say in the Lord do I put 
my trust. Let not the enemy triumph over me. I will trust in the Lord with all my heart. I will lean not to my own understanding, but in all my ways acknowledge him and he will direct my path. He is your deliverer. He is your way maker. He is Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth. He is Jehovah Sabbath, the God of armies. He is your bridge over troubled water. He is your doctor in the hospital room, your lawyer in the courtroom. He is your strength, your guide, your defender. He is your battle axe. God says, trust me and watch the shift. Trust me and watch the shift. Trust me and watch the change. Trust me and watch me bless you. Trust God and watch God provide for you. Trust God and watch him make a way. Trust God and see your enemies backing up. Trust God and see a deliverance. I feel a double portion of the Holy Ghost in this pulpit in Toronto. Somebody stretch out your hand and say, God, I trust you. Tears running down, but I trust you. My house is in trouble, but I trust you. Don't find the rent, but I trust you. Trouble with the children. Trouble in the marriage. Trouble at work. Trouble everywhere, but I trust you. Can I find 10 people that want to be clear? I trust God. Shout it. Let the devil hear you. In your bedroom, in your living room, wherever you are, make a declaration. God, I will trust your voice. I will trust you. You are my defender. You are my keeper. You are my restorer. You are my joy. You are my peace. You are my love. You are my happiness. God, whatever you say, whatever you say, whatever, I'm willing to trust your voice. Somebody, hug yourself. Squeeze yourself tonight. I'm declare as of this minute, my trust has gone to the next level. I'm believing God for the miraculous. I'm believing for the supernatural. I'm believing that by tomorrow, this time, something marvelous will happen. I'm believing. I feel a shaking in the Zoom room. I feel a shaking on social media. I feel a shaking. I feel the hand of God outstretched and touching somebody. Shake up yourself. Shake up your spirit. Prophesy. Open your mouth. Make it a declaration. Let me close. Hata Shanda Ilabasa Ilabasa Ketosha Ilabasa Makosha Makosha Ilabasa Somebody is getting a release. Somebody is getting a release. Hear me. If Rahab the harlot could trust God, she trusted God and hung out the scarlet thread and her house and her family was speared. God says, get up. God Almighty, I've got to preach two more minutes. Some of you sitting down like a sad sack, melancholy, hung at your jaw, 
feeling depressed, uh, feeling out of it, uh, God said, get up, uh, shake up yourself, uh, shake yourself uh, from the dust. Uh, this is not uh, a crying season. Uh, this season uh, is for divine uh, realignment. Uh, this season uh, is God shifting you. Uh, dry up your tears. Uh, dry up your tears. Uh, stop the complaining. Uh, and get up uh, and raise your hands. Uh, and say, in thee, O Lord, uh, I put my trust. Uh, is there anybody uh, on this line uh, who believe God? Uh, raise your hands. Uh, and say, God, I believe. Uh, I believe. Uh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I, 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 I believe, I believe, divine realignment, divine breakthrough, divine trust the voice. Of God. Usha. No matter how we preach, no matter what we say, if you or me don't trust the voice of God, we will never have the victory. When Jesus spoke to Peter, when divinity released a word, there was an automatic shift. When Peter obeyed the word, he came into divine realignment. Somebody need to lift their hands right now and shout where you are. Shout it three times. God, I trust you. God, I trust you. God, I trust you. God, I trust you. God was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Remember, trust the voice 